beautiful venue, uh, the Concert Hall at Sagerstrom Center for the Arts. We have over 300 pieces of artworks from local artists throughout Southern California and definitely local from Costa Mesa. There's such talent here, so this is uh, an art show to present to our community. It is a free event to the community and it also raises funds for the Cultural Committee Grants Program, which is an opportunity for local artists to also create something within the community and be supported by our city. As the Costa Masons bring their art together, you can see different aspects of who they are within the community, and it brings the community together. My artwork, I took blues, and I kind of made a background, but different uh, uh, strokes in the background. I took gold uh, leaf, and I trickled the gold down through. Then I wanted to focus the, it into the middle of the painting. That focus helps draw the eye a little bit closer into the painting. We have emerging artists, we have experienced artists, we have all kinds of mediums. We have paintings and drawings and sketches and photography and sculptures and mixed media. We also have a fabulous display of youth art. Art Venture is a juried art show. So we had three very professional, uh, well-esteemed judges from the art community. The piece is titled Fish Factory and it's by Alexis Tan. The piece is called uh, Fish Factory. Um, it's, it's in acrylic and uh, on a canvas board and uh, it features a fish with like a factory on top and what, what I thought of is sort of contradiction between like the ocean wildlife and the pollutants on the wildlife so there's smoke billowing out and that's, that would actually kill wildlife but I thought it would be interesting to contrast the two and put them together in the same piece. Not only is an art exhibit, we also have demonstrations here tonight. We have a beautiful chocolate sculpture demonstration. The rest is completely dark chocolate. It's more like an artistic side of the chocolate showpiece. It's completely edible, obviously, but it's made for decoration, presentation, you know, for the, for the show. And I love to do that. We take some time to, uh, to have the chocolate setting correctly. And after, we have to just bring the tempered chocolate as a glue I use only a, a cold spray to help me to set the chocolate faster. The best part is when you assemble, when you got a bunch of different parts. Sometimes I don't even know exactly how it's going to be, but I love to uh, assemble everything and make a showpiece. Art Venture was a great collaboration between the city, the Cultural Arts Committee, Sector Center for the Arts, and our other wonderful sponsors. It took a whole team, it wasn't just the Cultural Arts Committee, but wonderful volunteers from uh, OCC and uh, music organizations. It, it really took a big team. We probably had about 40 people in the house this morning putting up the display and the exhibit, and it was just a, a great collaboration between a lot of people in the community. I've never shown here before. I love the idea of showing in my own neighborhood. Oftentimes I have to take my work, crate it up and ship it overseas and it's nice to just drop it off. So all these pieces are like somewhat plein air painting where I actually go out in a desert and paint. I set up the easel, sometimes if it's windy I'm in the back of my truck. And I take these bags or plastic pieces and put them on these plants and the wind's blasting them so they're really cool visuals. So you're seeing a still of something flapping around 100 miles an hour and just see it for that second. Art Venture is just a fabulous event this year. We're really excited. It has grown. It's bigger than it has been. It grows every year. We're really looking forward to next year to see what new artists bring.